So what's it really like to be without water or have limited access to water, be without transportation, you know, be without electricity only for a night, uh, be without being able to obviously with water, take a shower, um, flush the toilet, um, you know, no laundry in this scenario, you know, losing tons of money and eating canned food. You know, what's it really like? Well, to sum it up, I'll be brief with this. Um, stop it. <laughs> Don't. Come on. Like, I'm not in a bad situation. Literally, you can look at numerous countries across the, the world where their best situation is far worse than this. So, like, if you're complaining about some of these things, maybe even all of these things, like, just try to appreciate what you do have. It's not a big deal. Like, literally, the first night, no electricity. I mean, I had no internet. You know, I had to sleep on the floor. Okay, who cares? <laughs> sleep on the floor. Like, it's camping. Like, just go camping, okay? Um, you know, the internet, I was fortunate to actually get the, the modem slash router on the first day I was here. And then the next day after that, I had electricity. So I plugged that in, synced the devices and had internet. Yeah, without internet, it's it's tough in this in this generation or in this year, 2021. Um, especially if you make money online, which in my case, yes, that's my been my only or basically my only source of income has been through through the internet, through online things. So, yeah, yeah, you're gonna if you lose money like that, yeah, it's 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 a big deal, but it's not the end of the world. That's what probably the essence of this video is. Like, none of these things, if you don't have them, are the end of the world, you know. So, I haven't had water for the past week. So, you know, in I've been here a total of two weeks in in Detroit, Michigan. Bought this house, like. Yeah, obviously I bought a house, like, that's not, you shouldn't feel bad. Like, there's definitely people, even in the United States of America, that do not have access to a home, rent or owning, like, they're just homeless. Like, that. those are the people that need help, not me, you know? Or those are the people you should, you should feel or try to understand and try to help them get out of their situation uh, and maybe even feel bad for them. Uh, I've been drinking bottled water, but that's even what I was doing before. I was just refilling at the tap. Uh, maybe that's not healthy. I don't know. Maybe I could just put a filter on it and then all of a sudden, you know, it's clean water. But, you know, I have turned the water on because the reason I haven't had water is because I've chosen to, uh, turn the water off because if the water's on, then the pipe that I have, uh, one of the pipes will leak and it will drip into the basement and, and, you know, fill up water in the basement. So I've tried to limit the amount of times I've also turned on the water because that change in pressure on and off is not good for the pipes. So that can cause a pipe burst somewhere else. So that's why I've done that. I've only taken two showers since being here for two weeks. Like you make all that nasty, but like, you don't really need a shower. You're, you're not going to instantly die if you don't take a shower for a certain amount of time. Um, you know, I, like, when I have turned the water on, I've refilled my water bottles and flushed the toilet. I actually just, before recording this, took rainwater that I've been collecting outside in buckets, brought it in here, and filled up the toilet tank so I can flush it without turning the water on. Now, I only had one shot at that. And I had to get it up to a certain threshold. I, I, you know, I was crossing my fingers and hoping that it would flush. And luckily it did. But, you know, <laughs> leaving the toilet unflushed is not going to, like I said, instantly kill you. I, It might not even do anything to you. It's just unsanitary apparently 
<laughs> well, in in our society in the United States of America, in other first world countries, yeah. Like, it's not ideal. But again, living without water, like I could literally just walk three minutes down the street and I can go buy food, water. On, on the next topic is food, the canned food. Like I've only been able to eat canned food and then also some like fruits and vegetables and nuts and stuff like that, pantry items. I haven't been able to cook. You know, I have a stove now. Now I have a stove. Um, two of them because I have a duplex. The one upstairs, gas is not going to that unit. So, But that's the one I hooked up because I have to have someone come out and check it uh, with a hooked up appliance. So, yeah, I could go hook up the stove right now and start cooking. But I don't necessarily need to do that. You know? It's not the end of the world. Just, if you eat canned food, first of all, it's very cheap. <laughs> I've found that. Or maybe, maybe it's not much cheaper than just other types of food, but I found it to be very uh, cost effective. And speaking of money, like my situation is really not that bad. I've lost tons of money this month and I will definitely do a video on my financial channel about how much money I actually lost. Some of that I actually didn't lose. I just put it into a house, uh, but other money... Yeah, my expenses went through the roof, and my income went down the drain. That pun not intended, but essentially that's what happened. And But I've, I'm in a situation where I'm fortunate enough to have enough money for situations like this. Again, like, if you're, <laughs> if you're whining <laughs> about not being able to do your laundry, for example... Go buy some new clothes. If you really can't wear clothes multiple times, then just go buy some new clothes. If you don't have money, yeah, that's an issue. That's uh, hopefully something that we can improve on as a society as a whole. Um, not just, I mean, in a first world country, like, okay. Yeah, there are certain safety nets in certain countries that will help. But especially in lower income areas around the world, like, you know, money is not easy to come by. Resources are not easy to come by. So all these things, like, I think I should just be fortunate that I have any access to any of these things. I literally live in a city in Detroit, Michigan, that has over 660,000 people and stores all around me, parks all around me, within walking distance, and over 4 million people in the metro area. So in terms of, like, getting places like there's no shortage shortage of options either I, don't, I didn't have a car for and I didn't have any transportation for the first however many days I got eventually got a bike and now I do have a scooter which I'll probably do a separate video on that to show you and uh if you do want to see you could see it on the story the save stories on Instagram on my Instagram link in the description uh you should be able to find it on there under Detroit home I think so, like, I could literally take the bus anywhere I want to go, in, you know, in, in the city of Detroit, even, you know, some suburbs around. It's not a big deal. Like, I literally biked for six, over six hours. Like, maybe if you're not in physical shape to do that, then you can't do that. But, you know, you have options. You have a bus, train, bicycle, scooter, Lyft, Uber, rent a car. I li I did rent a car on Zipcar. So there's so many options that I don't think you can really complain or even in my situation, I don't think you need a car at all. Um, but that's a situation that you would have to decide for yourself. But I don't think like, I don't have water. I don't have access to cooking things, you know, I'm losing tons of money, don't have gas in a unit, didn't have electricity, didn't have a bed. I have an inflatable bed actually right here. Um, <laughs> didn't have that for the first night. Like all these things, yeah, they're nice, maybe. But 
if you start getting too needy on these sort of things, then you, you kind of lose appreciation for what really things you take for granted, probably. So, honestly, like, this is just like a rant, honestly, <laughs> at this point. Uh, I have a home, like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I have a home that, you know, I own it. And I don't think anyone should take that for granted, given the steep inequality. I mean, not even just in, in this country, especially across the world. Like, poor in this country is wealthy in a lot of countries. That's just how it is. And I think, you know, we we should probably work together and do something about that because it's, it's kind of inhumane. Uh, but that's, uh, you know, a different whole different topic. <laughs> but all that is to say that don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. I mean, that's it. Yeah, this became a rant video. But it was supposed to be just kind of a funny thing, like... Or a insightful thing to see, you know, how it is for someone to live without water, without um, transportation. You know, in a, in a house that... I'm also just putting a lot of work into as I look around here. Uh, here's a new outlet, if you didn't see that video. But, like I said, it does not matter. Calm down. Calm yourself, please. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> just just stop it. Get some help, you know? As Michael Jordan says. Um, come on. Just come on, come on. Uh, okay, if you're, if you're f having fun here, <laughs> give me a thumbs up, subscribe, give me some more perspective, <laughs> pers perspective, drop some knowledge on yo, and, uh, yeah, just calm down, just calm down. Yeah, it's hard to find a plumber, you know, that's the main issue I have, it's the water, there's no water, but again, I can literally go outside right now in the rain and go drink water out of the sky. <laughs> Completely clean. It's just, you know, it's right there. Just just think think about all your opportunities to do the little things. And if you're able to do those things in creative ways and not have to just sit there and just take it, <laughs> If that makes any sense whatsoever. Maybe not. Just appreciate that you have something. And if you don't have a lot, if you're someone out there with not a lot, you know, I hope that me or other people can help you and really lift lift you up uh, to a certain point where you can enjoy your life and stuff. So, with that being said, thank you all for watching. <laughs> I hope you I hope you find it entertaining to uh, hear about someone, you know, without a car, without water in the United States of America, while still having access to all these things with a roof over their head. It's not a big deal. Just calm down and appreciate what you have. Because, honestly, like, I don't even need that much. You know, so I hope I hope you can appreciate that. I hope you see what I see, <laughs> my perspective. I mean, you don't have to change your mind and about going living into a lower level of life um, to uh, really appreciate these things. But I'm just saying, like, you don't need this. You don't. None of this is necessary to live. Water, yeah, but you have so many opportunities especially in, like I said, first world country, uh, huge city, metropolis, you know, something like that. Just, just calm down, okay? All right, <laughs> bye. Well, yeah, sorry it turned into a rant, but uh, it just needed to be said. It just needed to be said. Got some, you know, need to uh, really just uh, express my opinion on this. 
So uh, I hope you all have a fantastic day, though. So, uh, yeah, until next time. Bye.